Hi there, I'm Alfonso, and today I'm going to guide you on the step-by-step -step process of installing a hydraulic breaker on your mini excavator. With the hydraulic breaker, you will unlock incredible versatility for your construction and demolition projects. Let's get started. First, let's review what's in the package. Inside, you'll find all the essential components you need for installation. Before you begin, inspect each part carefully and gather the tools required, such as adjustable wrench, plastic wrap, and a reliable hoist or an extra set of hands. Before we attach the hydraulic breaker, we need to remove the existing attachment. Follow these steps carefully to avoid injuries. Position the hammer on the cardboard so that the chisel is at a lower level than the nitrogen chamber. This prevents foreign matter such as moisture or fine debris from entering the hammer. Always wait for the hydraulic oil to cool to room temperature if the excavator was recently used. Always use a hoist or have at least two people assist with mounting or dismounting. Now park your excavator on a level ground, lower the arm to an accessible height and shut off the engine. Once the engine has cooled, remove the bolts and pin securing the old attachment. Use a hammer to gently tap out the pins and keep them clean for later use. Finally, start the engine, lift the boom and set the old attachment aside. Before lifting the hydraulic breaker, place it on a clean, stable surface to keep it upright and prevent dirt or debris from entering sensitive components. If needed, use any sturdy flat surface or stands to elevate the breaker slightly for easier alignment during the installation. Then align the breaker's pins with the excavator arm and attach the bracket. Using a hoist or extra help, lift the breaker into place. Secure it by feeding the arm pins through the housing, flanges, and excavator arm. Don't forget to lock the pin with its bolts and nuts. Repeat the same process for the attachment bracket pin. Next, we'll connect the hydraulic hoses. Cover exposed ports and hose ends with plastic wrap to keep debris out. Check if your excavator uses M16 ports. If not, use the provided adapters to convert M14 ports to M16. Then, connect the hoses, ensuring the left and right sides are properly aligned. Tighten all connections with an adjustable wrench. Once everything's connected, open the valves and test the system. Ensure the hammer operates smoothly and check for any leaks. If needed, reconnect and retest. Finally, Let's talk about recharging the hammer nitrogen chamber. This maintains impact efficiency and reduces recoil. If you notice reduced percussive force or jerking hoses, it's time to recharge. Follow these steps carefully to refill the chamber to 13 to 14 kilograms cubic squared. Using the provided tools, attach the charger hose to the hammer's port and the nitrogen canister. Open the valves gently, charge the chamber for about one second, and check the pressure. Once done, seal the port, disassemble the tools, and you're ready to go. And that's it. By following these steps, you have installed your hydraulic breaker, enhancing your mini excavator capabilities. For top-notch performance and support, choose AHM. I'm Alfonso. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Happy excavating.